What's up? Hey guys, it's Ivan. In this short video, I just want to show you how to create a contact us slash feedback form inside of your ClickFunnels. So something that would look like this. When you log in, it has your name, your email, and hey, I have a question. People can, you know, make this area bigger so that they could type in here uh, and they can just add a question, say submit and everything will be submitted. They'll go into the next page, disregard how ugly this looks. You will make your own thank you page, but that's what it would look like. And you will receive their comment and their information under your ClickFunnels contacts list. So let me just show you really quickly what it would look like. We'll just go through the process uh, and I'll show you, and then I'll go through some additional things that you may find value in. So I'm just going to click on edit page over here. And really, it's very simple. All you do is, so here, as, as you can see, I have just have basic fields. If you want to do something like that, the element you are looking for is called input, okay? So that's for these two. For the name and email, you just click on input. And for example, let me put this one here in the middle. And uh, just to make it prettier, to make it even, I'll reduce that. You can, wh what you can do is just select the input type. So you can request for the visitors who land on your page to enter their zip code, their country, their state, city, et cetera, et cetera any one of these you can make it custom type and say you know uh um so this is this would be um what whatever is not on the list like favorite color and then you can make the people enter their favorite color here enter your color here okay so something like that so even if it's not under this list you can make custom type and you can say whatever you want to over here uh, and, and make people put that in. So that's what you would do for these fields. Then if you actually want to receive the comments or the feedback or whatever it is you have on your page, you would actually need to input a slightly different form. It is just called the text area here. So you would just input text area and over here you can customize it as well. Click on custom type here, uh, enter a name here. It doesn't really matter uh, in regards to ClickFunnels, but if you want to receive an email when someone fills all this information and with all these details, you may find this useful. So if you say something like comment, um, if you check out my previous video, I'll put the link up above here, uh, how I integrate Zapier with ClickFunnels so that you can receive an email when someone fills all this up with all this information. Um, the way to make it so that in your email you see the comments is by putting in this name here. So just make sure you have a name so that when you select on your Zapier account, uh, what part you want to receive an email on if it's called comment. So that's why you would need to name it. Otherwise, it does not really matter. And then again, here you can customize this. So enter your comments here, something like that. Make it required, not required again. If it's not required, people can not fill in. They can skip it and they can click submit. Or if it's required, obviously it will, if, if they don't fill it in, it will flash with a red background color, forcing them to fill that part in before they submit. So uh, up to you. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all you need to know. That is how you make a contact us form. Uh, you know, I, I, I can remove one of them. This is all you need. Uh, fill in whatever other details, like I said, you want. If you want their address, their phone number, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. You can even make it optional, which is where this not required part comes in. So if I put another input form and I make this, you know, phone number, some people may be hesitant. You can make it not required and you can say, uh, you know, enter phone number here and then say something like optional, right? Something like that. That could work. Uh, so just play around with it, but that's pretty much it. Now, a few things you do have to know. So I will show you where you can actually find this information on under your ClickFunnels contacts. Uh, but also one more thing you have to know is if it's the exact same email, you will not receive the new comments that people put in, which is kind of a bad thing. But what it means for you is that if, let's just preview this real quick. If people put in, hi, I have a question one, and they click submit, they can no longer use the same email to ask another question because you just, you won't get an email for it or you won't get, um, you, you it won't be under your ClickFunnels database uh, for contact. So only the, this first part will show up. So, you know, make sure you, you maybe put up some sort of, uh, disclosure or something saying that hey only the first question you have will be answered and then you can reply in that email thread or whatnot uh you know you could after you get all the that contact information then you can talk to them via 
uh, their email. Uh, but they cannot put in like 10 questions here using the same email because you will only see the first one. So that's kind of the bad thing. But over here, like let, let, let's say, you know, let's let's put in a bogus email. Um, let's put this in and let's, let me just show you where you would find this information. Hi, what's up, right? How do you do this? It doesn't say on your site. So let's say someone, someone typed that in and say Billy Ryan's and they click submit okay uh, so we made this required so let's say red see see what I mean by if it's if it says required and you don't fill it up that's what shows up so now that we've done that we can actually go back and let me show you where you would find that where you would pull up that data go into contacts here it is Billy Ryan's instantly done you would go here everything is locked you need actionetics to unlock it but if you go to uh, additional info everything shows up here so it shows their favorite color that you put in it shows the comments so this is their feedback that you can reply to and then of course it shows their email uh, name and email right here okay which Billy Ryan's is the name fdas at gmail is the email which you can also pull up here all right so that's pretty much all you need uh, any additional information they fill in will be here also right so that you don't have to pay for but anything extra like their title their company which ClickFunnels somehow finds out their address that is uh, what you would need Actionetics for. So if you want extras, you can go ahead and maybe try it out. But that's pretty much it. Again, if you want to see how to receive an email as soon as someone clicks that submit button, check out my previous video. I show you how to integrate Zapier with ClickFunnels. And one more thing, there's really no way to kind of make, um, make a confirmation as soon as people click submit. There's no such thing on ClickFunnels. So either they click submit and are redirected to the next page or they click submit and are redirected to a website. So they can't kind of click submit and say, hey, thank you, confirmation done, unless you use some code, which I don't know how to do. Um, but what I'm trying to say is make sure you have some follow up to people clicking submit when you do this, such as over here, I have, you know, my thank you page, right? Obviously it's a crappy thank you page, but as you can see, it goes somewhere. So just make sure when you have this form, make sure to uh, redirect this to some other page. Just make it a secondary page over here, right here, the thank you page, make it go to the thank you page um, and just say something like, hey, thanks for filling up. We'll get back to you. Uh, don't email again because we won't receive the second email. Maybe you wanna write something like that. But that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, how-tos, reviews, etc., etc. And otherwise, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.